Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry for the lateness. I was waiting for uh, for the meds to come down there. And I figured we'd get uh, we'd get Flight Simulator. Go ahead and, and start it up because uh, it takes a little while to load at times. Hey, Lou. Good to see you, man. Hope you are doing all right today. All right. Let's get into it. I think. I think today. I wanna. I wanna find out something. I wanna see if they actually change the weather in real time. Cause uh, we've had a bit of an ice storm here today. And uh, <coughs> by golly. I want to see. <coughs> Sorry, dying. I want to see if they, uh, if they actually, you know, update those in uh, in real time. Yeah, I figure not much is going on. Not much at all. Hey, what? I feel like flying something easy today. Let's go with uh, let's just go with a regular prop plane. We might wind up in the. And the Skyhawk again. Hey, Orville, welcome back, bud. Besides, I need to learn how to how to fly again. Hey, Pagan. You know what? I do like that little Savage Club. Hey, Larosa. Oh yeah. You know, as much as I don't want to be sometimes. You know what? You know what? We're gonna fly down to uh, to Arkadelphia. I say Arkadelphia, technically Caddo Valley. We're gonna fly down from Malvern to Caddo Valley. Go check out Lake DeGray. Go land on the lake. Now, I don't know if there is an airport in Caddo Valley, but I know there's one in Arkadelphia. Yeah, Florence Memorial. Actually, that's Lake Degree right there. So I guess we could actually set. Yeah, well, you know what? We could we could just set a custom point. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Hey, Moon, it sure has. Hey there, Ducky. All right. Let's get into it. Well, it certainly looks like Malvern right now, but I don't see any... I guess it is snowing, isn't it? One sec. Actually, give me a second here, Ducky. I gotta readjust my Toby just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was messing with my monitor earlier. Okay, so I don't I don't know if I have to de-ice the plane. Hey, trigger. I think it'll be all right. All right, let's get to going. Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah, I mean, that's actually what we originally got Toby before was, uh, was all Star Citizen. You know what? Like, I know I'm supposed to, like, gain altitude and then pass over the airport. I don't know if I want to. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. I shouldn't be sinking at all. See, Ducky, I, uh, I've forgotten a lot when it comes to flying. It's been about a good, you know, Two months, really, since I got to play. Maybe three. Oh, 
I might, I might lighten the weather. I want to be able to see where I'm going, you know? Yeah, Moon, I noticed that. That there were no bots yesterday, and I was, I was quite okay with that. Yeah, this is what Malvern looks like right now, though we've got a bit more snow. Uh, really, Ducky? Okay, well... Toby actually works pretty, pretty okay with it. I haven't actually made any adjustments yet to my settings. Hey, Daniel, yeah! <laughs> uh, especially after that whole roadmap debacle, you know? Man. Now, I'll probably do some Star Citizen maybe later. I just wanted to... Ducky's been wondering how Toby works with flight sim. It works alright. Hey, Evans. Uh, you know, I have no idea what my Toby settings are. <laughs> like, uh, okay, actually, you know, hold up. Let me just, let me see if there actually are in-game settings. I think maybe the, oh, yeah, yeah, there are. Oh. Um, maybe there's not? Okay, so it detects that there's a Toby there. <laughs> hey, right one. Um, maybe I have to mess with the settings in the actual Toby program. Uh, you know, how did this happen? That's what we're gonna find out. We're gonna see what it's like today. Oh, hey, look, we got a, we got a rainbow right there. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to actually be gaining altitude, aren't I? You know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe we don't want live weather. Maybe there we go. We want to be actually be able to see what we're doing. And if they're not going to give me snow in Malvern, then, you know, I'll just be able to see what I'm actually doing. Yeah, Ducky, like, the, the default isn't actually bad. I haven't really got to mess around with it. Yeah, Trigger, I, uh, I mean, like, I stubbed my finger, like, it's a little bitty, like, I, I drew a little bit of blood, but. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and head towards Arkadelphi. I think I've got enough altitude here. Hey, Timble. Oh yeah, Timble, you missed my best pun. I mean, I say that, I made it like a year ago too, but I uh, took a picture of an icy. So it's a little icy outside today, cause we got, we got some snow. I mean, we got ice actually, it's sleet, it's all ice. All right, so I think I need to pull back the mixture some. That'll save a bit of, oh, dude, too far, too far, too far. There we go. I think this is how you do this. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it guys. I'm not I'm not a good pilot. Like I can do some fancy flying, but as far as like navigation and stuff goes, I really I really need all this stuff, you know. Uh, Moon, so you can, uh, you can cut out those parts of the cups and mail them in to get things like hats and t-shirts and towels and various other types of merchandise, but you still have to send money. It's like, if you want a hat, you still have to send, like, 12 or 15 dollars, and I feel like at that point you're still buying the hat. But yeah, how does this happen? You just open a menu, change the weather, you can actually make the weather whatever you want it to be. Which is, which is real nice, you know? You know, I could be following I-30 instead. Oh yeah, Tatsukishi, it looks a little bit different. I mean, we could go down and, uh, really... Really give it a look-see if you want. Hey, El Nino, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a Cessna, it's not too much different than a Cutlass. Yeah, Moon, no furry costume, sadly. You know, Phoebe, I would I would say so. 
actually. Um, now, I will say, you do have to worry about overstressing your aircraft. Like, I've got everything turned on to, like, realistic mode. So, like, for example, if I, if I dive here and I go a bit too fast, um, I can actually overstress the aircraft frame and it'll, you know, fall apart. But, like, I'm, I'm using a flight stick. And, uh, I mean, really, you know, like, once you take off, like, you, you take off and you're landing, I would say, is your hardest part. Um, I say that. That's not the hardest part. Navigation is the hardest part. Like, things like the Skyhawk are easy because we've got, we've got a map, you know? But, uh, let's say, let's say I'm using a nav log. What I'm supposed to do is, you know, make sure my heading stays the same and basically set a timer and uh, I've got, like, my estimated time to, to get there. And, um... You're supposed to use that now uh, there's a lot of tutorials in this game admittedly that i have not done in fact that's our destination right there that should be like the great but um i'm very bad at uh, staying on course unless i have a map to follow like i've got this over here um which yeah it makes it makes it a bit easier it makes it a bit easier Oh, Trigger, I've done it. I have done it. Hey, Lodix. And Tatsukishi, basically. Here, let me let me go outside. Let me... Where it is? There it is. External. See, and Toby... Toby works out here, too, which is kind of weird. But, uh... But, yeah. Like, it's... Yeah, it's nice. It's a Cessna Skyhawk. G-1000. Yeah, Ducky, exactly. Exactly. Like, man, I I need that GPS. Did a fly out of, out of <clears throat> Tonga to uh, go check out one of the other islands. And, man, I, I really need that GPS. It's the wind, really. The wind is what knocks me off course. Lodox, no worries, man. I actually just got started um, 12 minutes ago. Sorry, I had to check the timer. Nah, death, I'm probably... I'm probably gonna do some Star Citizen 2. We might do, a, like, a short devil feature today or something. Deki just really wanted to see how Toby worked in, uh... In Flight Simulator. And I enjoy Flight Sim. What is that? What is... Is that the landing gear? Why is it all the way over there? Oh, wait, I have landing gear? Huh. Oh. Whoops. I just thought they stuck out since, you know, I got these pontoons. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, Temple, yeah, man. Like, okay. I haven't actually flown anywhere so far that is required using a de-icer. Um, I don't, I don't know much about de-icing. I haven't, uh, I haven't flown anywhere that's required it so far. Most of my flights, like, I think the furthest north I've been so far was Vermont. And it was pretty icy. Like, I flew over the Rocky Mountains going over Tennessee while using uh, Neofly. Is that I-30? That looks like Interstate 30. Oh, yeah, Ducky. And I mean, there's also the, uh, you know, the cheat map, too. This thing, the VFR map. You can get that in, in anything. I just, I feel like I should learn how to navigate a little bit. It's just, it's really, for me, is trying to tell, like, how, how badly the wind is throwing me out. Yeah, this is Lake de Grey up here, and we're gonna do some low flying around Lake de Grey. I basically grew up on this lake. My dad was a park ranger here for uh, for years. Literally lived on well, I say on the lake, next to the lake. There's uh there's a dike up here, which before anyone makes any jokes, it's a it's a type of dam. Um, what he lived on. Oh, 
about Temple, did you? <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Coyote. Good to see you, man. Hope you are doing all right today. We are on our way to Lake de Grey. You know, I guess I could speed up time just a little bit. That's all right. It's fine. Yeah, Phoebe. Well, you know, Phoebe, it's because, uh... Person and all of them are actually a tenth of what their actual size is, you know, supposed to be. So you can actually see that curvature. Like, also, you gotta remember, I'm only 2,000, uh, I'm only 2,000 feet up. I'm not exactly sure what that translates to in meters, but, you know, I'm relatively, really close to the ground. Ah, oh, Coyote, I never hit eject. Hey, Vidar, good to see you, man. Ooh. Ooh, Lodox, that sounds... Ooh, yeah. All right, after I hit up Lake Degrade for a bit, where do you guys want to go? We could go land in Red Square like that one guy did. Yeah, Evans, like, it's, uh, I mean, it pretty much set itself up. I've done literally nothing. In fact, I, I don't even know how to change the settings on it. <laughs> uh, hey, Ali. Oh, yeah, Lonix, we can go there. Oh, yeah, see, Tatsukishi, I'm only, I'm only 600 meters up. You know, if this was a caterpillar, I'd be getting that, uh, that low or collision warning. Hey, K-Mans! You know, Pyrite? I have no idea. I, uh, I actually... I've got a mission in Neofly. Taking off from Little Rock to Peru. That I need to do eventually. Alright. Let's see. Hey, I think, I think this is it. I think this is the dam that I grew up on right here. Mm, wait, no, no. Maybe, maybe, hold on. All right, I'm gonna want some power over fuel efficiency. Actually, I think it is. Hey, Crumpet, good morning. This is it. Yeah, okay, so there's a beach down here, which it looks like they've put trees on here. Yeah, this is this is the dike. Dad's old house is down there somewhere. Uh probably covered up by trees. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna show up here. It was covered in trees, but I used to sneak back here. There's a bunch of cows back here in this field, and I just spent a bunch of time with the cows. Except when the bulls would come by and, you know, run you off. Sad I can't chase the cows in the plane, but, you know, you don't want to distress the milk or whatever. Alright, let's go spend some time on Lake the Grave. What if the lodge is actually shown here? Hey, Sidewinder. Uh, Russell, I, I had a flight plan, but it was mostly just set to come to Lake de Grave. After I do some, uh, some flying around here, and oh my goodness, I can't tell you how beautiful this looks in 4K. I, I wish I could stream this in 4K. Like, the reflections on the water. Oh. Hey, Mabita. Yeah, Russell, my, my flight plan was really just to come down to Lake DeGray and then I'll park at, uh... I'll park in Arkadelphia. Oh, 
Oh yeah, sure thing. All right, one second. Let's put on the actual weather. Let's go live. Give me. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's what it actually looks like right now. Oh yeah, Sidewinder. Yeah, this is our live weather at the moment because we're getting a bunch of ice. In fact, the ice is uh, is still coming down. It took me forever to get the ice off the car today. Oh yeah, Eric, I uh, my landing gear's up. However, I do have pontoons, so I can land on the lake. Yeah, Pyrite. Like the way that you can switch or customize the weather is amazing. Hey, Ragsith. Hey, Black Sheep. You know, Iron Dragon, I have not tried DCS. Um, I've heard wonderful things about it, but um, never we really got around to trying it out, you know? Yeah, Lonix, I, I think so. Like, we've got a bunch of ice down on the ground right now. I'm sad that they don't show the ice on the ground in Flight Sim, but I, I understand why. Hey, Gideon. And, uh, Cavity, you know there's like a pretty decent third-party market. Ooh, 15. Yeah, no, we have like two, I think, three. And everything's shut down. Yeah, Robert, like, uh, I've heard some excellent things about it. I want to give it a go. Crumpet was going to give it a try, but it was having some issues running on our machine. And she's got pretty much the exact same stats I do. It's just having some sort of weird... I don't know. Startup issue. See, like, you land your plane on, like, the gray. You get some good fishing in. I guess a parking brake really doesn't work on the water, does it? Uh oh, what is that? Safety gear advisory? The landing gear is up, it should be alright. Right? Like, I don't have to do anything for pontoons, do I? Yeah, Robert? Ah, oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like, I don't I don't really fish. But, uh, I do like being out on the water. Yep, yeah, this is Lake de Grey, all right. Yeah, like, I've heard excellent stuff on it. Like I said, just definitely got around to it. Oh yeah, chili like soft body physics. All right, we're gonna let's see. We're gonna take off, make our way to Arkadelphia, touch down there. I should be taking off into the wind, but again, I'm not a smart pilot. Also, like, when are you supposed to really use your flaps? Like, is it as soon as you get off the ground, or after you've gained some altitude, or what? Yeah, Crumpet, sorry, I, I slept forever. Later on this morning, because the sleep kept hitting my air conditioning unit and waking me up. Use them when you take off, too. Ah, okay. Gear's up for water landing. Gear, gear is up, lady. Come on. 
Okay, alright. Well, that makes me feel better. You should uh, you should go after it. It'd be nice. Let's see. Go to Florence. Man, I have no idea where Florence is. Just 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 give me a Kilo Alpha Delta Foxtrot Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 11 miles northwest 1,000 feet inbound to land runway 4. Okay, I'm northwest, so I need to go southeast. All right. Oh, Robert, I understand that, man. I understand that. I wanted to be a pilot so badly when I was a kid, and it's just... You know, it's one of those things that it takes so much to get into. Uh, get in, we're on Lake DeGray, near Caddo Valley in Arkansas. I grew up here. We took off from my hometown, flew down to Lake DeGray, and now we're going to go park this thing and, uh, at the Arkadelphia Airport, and then we're going to go find someplace crazy to fly around. Oh, of course, plane. Of course. Not on stream, though. I don't need any Buffalo Bill showing up to wear my skin, you know? Ah, yeah, Eric, it's at $10,000, you know? $10,000 is a lot of money that uh, I don't have. Yeah, this wind is really throwing me off. You guys think I'm going to be able to see the airport in this? Yeah, exactly, Robert. Like, once I get my license, what do, I, what do I do? It's not exactly like I'm, you know, I'm going to get a, a job with it. Ah, <laughs> Gideon, no. No. That's a lot of, that's a lot of no-no money. No. See, Moon, Moon's got the right idea. Moon's got the right idea. Kilo Alpha Delta Foxtrot Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 6 miles northwest 1,800 feet inbound to land runway 4. Come on, Moon. Don't ground my dreams. But yeah, Lodix, but like, I mean, pretty much the only thing that ever stops by ours is cocaine smugglers and the Forestry Commission. And now that, you know, the whole Contra thing is no longer... I, I don't even think the cocaine guys stop by anymore. Yeah, see, like, I need that commercial license. Like, you, you can't even accept money for taking people places, except, like, for fuel, until you get that commercial license, right? You know what? Let's, let's get low. Let's get low so I can actually see something here. Yeah, exactly, Robert. Like, I was crushed when I learned just how... how tough it is to make it, you know? I mean, yeah, Eric, you can do that, but... There we are. There's my airfield. Kilo Alpha Delta Foxtrot Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 3 miles north 1,700 feet inbound to land runway 4. Actually, let's change, let's change that runway. Go 22. Kilo 
Kilo Alpha Delta Foxtrot Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 2 miles north 1,400 feet inbound to land runway 22. All right. There it is. Overspeed. We don't need no stinking overspeed. Five hundred. Never do what I do, kids. That computer did not get the memo Gears that we're already for down runway for runway landing. Gears down for runway landing. Gears down for runway landing. Okay, can I pull through here? Gears down for runway landing. Gears down for runway landing. Hey, I landed it. Landing. I got down. Okay, can I Gears tell this thing to shut up? Landing. Yes, the gear is down. All right, we are off the runway. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad of a landing. Like, should you ever do that in real life? No. No, you should not. Hey, Sarone, what's up, man? Oh, yeah, that's it, Bobby. Wait, let me just call up, uh... To actually, I think I have to tell them, you know, hand off to, to ground. Mike 78 traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf oh Sierra Alpha is clear of the runway. Hey, Kiel, how you doing, man? How you feeling? I heard you cut the cop. Just call up the ground terminal here. Actually, they don't have ground handoff here. This is a small airport. I mean, getting that's a big download, man. Like, that's not gonna happen today. Where is parking? Is that is that parking? Is that plane parking? I can never tell. I like how the cars just bounce off the edge here. You know what? I'll just I'll just park right here. They don't like it. They can they can tow me. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and download that on stream. That's not that's not gonna happen. Mike seven eight traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha is clear of the runway. Ah, oh, Keel, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear it, buddy. I hope you get better soon. You know, Bobby, there's, uh, have you seen that the new, like, hover copter thing? All right, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? What is that? Puerto Pecarizo Moreno. Hey, that looks pretty. No, it's like, uh, hold on. It's, it's a funky. This thing. It's basically a manned drone. Like it's like I've, I've flown it. It's it's weird. Hey, 
Amsterdam? I've flown over Amsterdam. Yeah, hold on. Let me just let me just take off from from somewhere. Hey, Progresso, I've had that soup. You know, Timbal, that's not a bad idea. Would be pretty. I get it. Sorry, I mean in, in flight simulator. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's just uh, we'll take off from here. Although we are gonna turn off that that live weather because I want to be able to see all the all the pretty stuff. I've flown in this thing once over over Little Rock. And by that, again, I mean in, you know, Flight Simulator. NASA Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready what? at runway 14 straight out departure. Why, why is it, why is it so dark? Hold on. What's going on? It's not 7.02 p.m. over there, is it? Make it 1.50 p.m. There we go. Yeah, it's it's basically uh, a drone. Oh yeah, Dustin. Yeah, I've actually got NeoFly installed. I love doing the missions and stuff in it. Oh, Gideon, probably. All right, up, up, and away we go. This thing is super slow. how slow this thing is. I think it only has like an hour of battery life. Yeah, Bobby, it's like the, the first foray into uh, to helicopters. Well, it's in, you know, in game, I mean. Bobby, do you? I think I've got mine. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, I think mine is on a two terabyte right now. Yeah, I wonder how big the battery is for this thing. Okay, I don't know actually how expensive this is. Hey, look, a taxi! No, he's not. He's lost. Like, if I kill the engines, will I just fall? I kind of want to find out. Yeah, that sounds about right. New Eggs had some cheap ones on sale, but I don't really know about, like, the, you know, the branding or whatever. Oh, well, that's a cute house. Look at that. That's a nice house. It does not turn quick, though. It does not turn quick at all. Which, I mean, I guess is to be expected. Oh, that's a lonely car. That is a lonely... A lonely car. Yeah, the, the velocity or velocity, or one of those things. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've got the roads modeled exactly in this little, this little area. Yeah, 
Yeah, Eric. Well, here the the problem is. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me go to third person. It's it's literally a drone. Like, and I've never really flown a drone. Oh, I assume those are supposed to be boats. They got picked up on satellite imagery. <laughs> Whoops. Do they, huh? See, I haven't really had a lot of uh, heli experience in games. But yeah, I think we should go hit up a real airplane. What do you guys want to do? Where are we going to fly over? Yeah, a dragon. All the boats have melted. Look at that. Look at all those melty boats. Oh man, Temple, I remember when things had like five minute batteries. I remember having this RC car as a kid and um, it took like four hours to charge in like a 30 minute battery life. And I always hated that, you know? Oh, Crumpet, that's a good idea. You guys want to go visit CIG? That's that's a good question. Yeah, we can we can go fly by CIG. Go fly by old B Cave. I mean, not not in this thing. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on. Let me uh, let me touch down this little strip over here. I assume this is supposed to be a road. I keep hitting the throttle on this thing. Whoop! That's, that's a... That's a wreck. Alright, alright, hold on. Let's see, we want to take off from... Sadly, no, Bobby. You you cannot. Austin, Austin. We're not gonna go to Austin, Austin. Let's go to Austin. Don't they have an international airport? Does B Cave have a? There we go. What, what are these flight conditions? Okay, real time, not live weather. There we go. Hey, girl. When we turn on the real time weather, it's gonna be all ice down there too. Okay, we got Austin. We'll take the, how about we take the F-18? And I need to pull up. Give me one second. I need to pull up the coordinates that I'm going to be going to. Yeah, the weather is kind of eh still. Oh, what is the name of that parking area? Hill Country Galleria. There we go. Alright, now I know where we're going. I just need to get the... 
All right. 30.30. Negative 97.94. Yep, that's it. Right there. Let's see, turn in. And it is. I want to say it's that one. That'll be our arrival. Oh, Russell, I wish we had the F 35 in here. All right, let's do it. Let's take off from KAUS and the A uh, the F-18. You know, Crumpet, I think he works at the British offices. I did, Matthew, I did. Yeah, I got a little discount code and everything. And Lenny, that's a good question. I actually have no idea. Like, it's, it's smooth. It looks nice to me. Oh yeah, see this runway tree six left. This this won't do. We gotta We're gonna we're gonna have to make it a little bit more a little bit more um hold on. I like the live weather, but I gotta be able to see where I'm going. And I am gonna need me a little VFR map, because um Yeah. They don't they don't have my flight plan in this thing. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's see. Let's do it. Time to kick the tires and light the fires. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to pull off a, a fancy dandy barrel roll, but I didn't like that. There we go. Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Have pulled up my landing gear yet? I don't know if I have. I guess I should probably go actually look for BK here. Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra, did you hear my last transmission? Oh, yeah, I guess I should probably answer the, uh... Boston Tower, Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, All right. frequency change. It shouldn't be that long of a flight. Yeah, Ducky, I'm not exactly here to, uh, you know, what's the word? follow the flight plan. Oh yeah, Bobby, you can easily go into the bridges. Some are blocked, some are not. It depends on uh, how well they're modeled. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Appreciate that, Beth. But yeah, no, they, they've done a good job. You can easily fly into the bridges. Get to Bee Cave, shall we? Ah, yes, yeah. Pirate made me put in the the Toby code. Oh, Mobina, that's uh, that's a good idea. I don't I don't know where the Manchester one is located. Ah, yes, Bobby. Let me let me get into some heavy breathing. There it is, I think. 
Yeah, that whole shopping area. So there's like a really nice Chinese restaurant there. Uh, a Whole Foods, a Barnes and Noble. Um, you've got the big. You've got the big water thing. I forgot about that. Hold on, I need to. get up a little bit higher. But yeah, pretty much, uh, that building Pull right up. there. Now, Oh, is my gear down? I couldn't I couldn't quite tell. Thank you, Skavak. Oh, get it. He's he's in England now, isn't he? Yeah, we can just sit here and uh I forget who worked at this location. Actually, hold on, you know what? I'm gonna land on the road. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna taxi on in. So give me a second here, let me get lined up. Yeah, like I'd hit it a few times, I just couldn't remember if I, you know, hit it correctly. Hit our flaps. Well, I forget these F-18s don't really generate a whole lot of lift. Way too fast, we got this. All right, where is that turn in? We're just driving down to the CIG offices. Yeah, Bobby, get some food, man. Is that it? Is that the turn in? It is, but it's covered by trees. Yeah, this is it. All right, I'm going to enter this roundabout with an F-18. I think I can do this. I need to change some of my some of my stuff here. Uh, negative Gideon, there are no weapons. I don't know if this thing has a parachute. Alright, we're going to drive illegally down the wrong one. But yeah, alright, so this building right here, I believe is the CIG office, which it's actually much taller than this. You guys think I could take off before I hit that building? That's it, Crump, but I've got the right of way. And Lenny, not at all. Not, not at all. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I can take off before I hit this building right here. Yeah, that's, that's a big no. That's a big no. Nope! Well, we visited the CIG offices. Where to now? 
Oh, we went to the, the Austin office. Austin Tower, Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway 36 left departure to the north. Boeing Alpha yeah, Sierra no, Golf no boom. Sierra, no boom. Sadly, no boom. Yeah, crap, but I, I 30k'd. I had the permanent 30k. Alright, where to now? We could go visit, um... I don't know, we could go see, like, the rhinoceroses in Africa. I think they've got, like, uh, some animals down here. Oh, the South Pole. Ooh, Grand Canyon, that's a good idea. Uh, negative. Jeez, I have not flown over Groom Lake. I forget, what's what's close to the Grand Canyon? I feel like Sedona is not as close as, as I'm thinking it is. Is close to the Grand Canyon. Is that it? Bali? Hey, what are these? Oh, it's hey! It's it's airplanes! What? You could just you just track airplanes? I didn't know that. AAY eighty nine. From K L A S to K I C T. Oh, Alexa, that's that's good. I can do that. Oh, Lenny, I just took off from my town. Day what? Day what? I'll show you again. Let's see, Dallas, Little Rock, Canag. There we go. Benton, Haskell, Rockport, Old Malvern. <laughs> I'm <crumpet. laughs> Hey, Vlad. Yeah, yeah, I do love how this tracks live flights. See, this is this is my town, Malvern, right here. There's the high school. And somewhere up here. There it is. All right, all right. So this is the first red light. You take this curve. Downs and this building right here. This is this is where I usually get my ICs when I go out to get them. Yeah, Gideon, I'm not going to be able to type all that. Ooh, Kai. I wonder how long that would take. I wonder how long that would take from Malvern. Hold on, hold on. M78. To... St. Louis. Doesn't, uh, doesn't St. Louis have like a... I don't know, what do you call that? International Airport. We'll set that as our, as our arrival. There we go. And we'll take... We'll take the Citation. Because I know how that thing actually flies. We'll fly that through the arch. How about that? You think that'll take an hour? Nah. Oh, Vlad, those are those are the most fun right there. You know, geez, that's a good question. I've never been there either. Could always find out. You. 
All right. Brakes are off. Engines to full. And away we go. So I think we're gonna head about. What's the what's the cruise altitude on these things? Like twenty five thousand, thirty thousand. And I hope I don't have any passengers on board. Okay, like how how do the elevators work? for the arch. Like, it seems like you'd wind up sideways by the time you got to the top of it. Goodbye, Malvern. Yeah, Lenny, I'm, I'm using, uh, I'm using Toby for this instead of VR, which, you know, it's basically Diet Coke for you. Hey, Chico. Yeah, we'll get to 25,000. Why not? Actually, you know what? Hey, hey Dragnos. We'll just use our handy dandy autopilot. Alright, so 27 is my heading. Oh, you too, huh? It is fun. Wow, that is super annoying. To... Twenty-five thousand. There we go. All right, so autopilot is not on. Where is the autopilot? Ah, there it is. 25,000. And where is my climb? Speed mark CDI. You know, I could probably do this in the Grand Caravan. Although we seem to be gaining altitude, so I'm just... I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Oh, Chico, goodness, no, not at all. Not at all. Okay, Anarchy, so they do rotate. Nice, alright. I was just, I was, I was wondering, you know? And yeah, Aeroch, yeah, they actually got like a full plug-in and everything. I just, I don't have Neofly running right now. Yeah, no, Chico, uh, I, I'm not a pilot. I only pretend to be one. Back there. Oh, wait, right. Hold on. Let me adjust my position. There we go. Oh, Vlad, a new job again, huh? What are you doing this time, man? And we're just going to speed things up here, because I don't you guys want to sit here in the air for, uh, for an hour. That's it, Ducky. Oh, goodness, dearie me. Huh. We're not, uh... as high up as I thought we were gonna be. Uh, vertical speed control. There we go. That's what I was looking for.
Ooh, maybe I shouldn't do that at the uh, high speed. Okay. Vertical speed on. Vertical navigation on. I feel like that's not working. Why? Why is that not working? Vertical speed on. Yeah, sorry, Moon. Nice, Zelka. It's all right. Hey, you can you can bring it up. It's like all sorts of Zeno threatened Star Citizen right now. I'm just trying to figure out why in the world my uh, my vertical speed control is not working. Mm, no, 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 no. Twenty-five thousand feet. That's that's it. Yeah. Ah, altitude hold is on. But I don't want it to be on. I want to go higher. Ha, <laughs> Boca, that's that's uh that's not gonna happen. Not up here. What am I doing wrong? Uh huh. Vertical speed on. Hold on. Let's just, let's just zoom in. Lower that, but I can't raise it. Is it FLC? I mean, twenty five thousand is what I want. But I need to turn off altitude hold mode. Ah, <laughs> Kalaba, I wish. See, crap, but that's why, that's why, that's why uh, the passengers don't sit up here with the, with the pilot. Light director? Does that, does that do something? Can I, can I vertical speed? No, that's not a. Yeah, Vlad, what, uh, what package? Maybe, maybe I should just fly it up there myself, and then... Hold on, maybe, maybe that'll do it. Well, that didn't do it. FLC mode, maybe? No, that's not doing anything. What is speed mock? Oh. Huh? Oh, hold on, we're, um, not supposed to do that. Well, now where is it going? Oh yeah, Eric, oh, yeah, autopilot's on. It is on. Flight director is off? Detachable steering wheel? Why? What, what do you need that for? Yeah, James, I'm, uh, I'm learning how to autopilot. I know how to make this work in, like, the, the Grand Caravan and the Skyhawk. I mean, Ducky, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm following the the pink line. Hey, Peter. I just like I'm trying to get to a cruise altitude of twenty five thousand feet, but I seem to be stuck at twenty five hundred. Yeah, two five zero zero zero. That's that's twenty five thousand. Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean, probably. Let me let me see. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be streaming on the seventh. Uh, Boca, there probably is... 
I just, I left it. Okay, so like, I can send the vertical speed control low. Aha! There we go. All right. Something, something, something changed. There we go. All right. I don't know what I did, but I got my vertical speed control thing to, to work. So now we're, now we're gaining altitude. Yeah, Ducky, I, I think I finally accidentally hit one of the buttons to make it work. And yeah, Peter, Ducky wanted to see what this looked like with Toby. And it seems to be working pretty, uh, pretty well. Oh, do I need to hit it again? Oh, is it your birthday, huh? We'll, we'll, sing, you, we'll sing you happy birthday. Wait, but now it's off. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be on? Alright, now I think we can speed up time. Poof, the hydraulics on this thing, huh? Uh, Lenny, I did, like, half a year ago? Like, I haven't done them recently. We're not... We're not going up as fast as I thought we would. Yeah, I'll turn it off once I get there. It's not like we're not... getting there? Does that make sense? Over speed. Oh, come on. You know, Moon, that's, uh, that's a good question right there. And this jet's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What is, what is my altitude? At 32,000? Oh, whoops. I'm a little higher than I... plans to be. But yeah, Letty, but it's, it's a jet. Okay, Crumpet. And no worries, I, I took my meds. I did take my meds. All right. Whoops, 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 whoops. There's like a cruise control to this thing. Like, can't you tell it to like hold like a certain speed mock? That's it. Mock, uh... How fast is a mock? Maybe, maybe I should just stick with the propeller planes. How high up am I? Like, raised, kind of like a booster seat? There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can see a little bit of the curvature of the earth not not a lot but you can see some of it ah mach 1 speed of sound okay well i doubt i can get to that yeah 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 and james i doubt i can fly to space uh oh hold on my headset has died, so give me just a second to plug it in here. That's not even the right cord. There 
There we go, that's the right corner. Alright. Now, Lenny, I took my meds. Okay, hold on. So, Citation X, 717. That's the max speed? Then why why am I getting overspeed at 280? Oh, at 51,000 feet. Okay, well. Uh, map, map, map. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're almost there. All right. Now, that's along the river, isn't it? So, I should probably disengage the autopilot. And take control. Kilo Victor Lima Alpha Automated Weather Observation 2100 Zulu. Ah, uh, yes, Lenny. Flaps are up. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 15C dew point. Alright. 13C altimeter 29992. Uh, yes, Lonnie. Well, I've got it installed. Kilo Victor Lima Alpha Automated Weather Observation 2100 Zulu. Wind, 272 at 3. Visibility, Niner. All right, that arch is along the river, Clear. isn't it? So we can just follow the river. Here. One five C dew point. One three C altimeter two nine or nine or two. Uh, Boca, in-flight meal was probably whatever you had for breakfast, because it's it's probably about to come back up. Observation two one zero zero Zulu. Wind two seven two at three. Visibility. Am I getting? Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature one five C dew point. One three C altimeter two nine or nine or two. Kilo Victor Lima Alpha Automated Weather Observation 2100 Zulu. Wind 272 at 3. Visibility Niner. Alright, how do I how do I turn that off? Temperature. I don't five C dew point. One three C altimeter two nine or nine. I don't need all that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be uh throttles throttles back. How do I stop stop giving me I I didn't even order the weather. Visibility Niner. Sky condition. Let me talk to Festus. There we go. Wasn't even going to be on that channel. Alright, so I think this is St. Louis. Gear, not just yet. Yeah, exactly, Moon. It was a boring conversation anyway. I don't see the arch. I see a baseball field. I figured the arch was close to the river. We'll just buzz around St. Louis. This is St. Louis, right? This doesn't this doesn't feel very St. Louis-y. I got their I don't know big buildings? Uh, Randy, I believe we're over St. Louis. It just doesn't look very St. Louis-y. Maybe I'm just not in there. Yeah, I haven't seen any bridges. Hold on. Pull up my map here. Ah, no, I'm a ways out. Okay. Okay. We'll just follow the river. How about that? Hey, Lionel. Yeah, Jimbo. I hate that. Pretty much have to let it download while you're sleeping, you know? Alright, yeah. So that's my problem. I'm, I'm still a little south of where I need to be. So we're just gonna follow the river till we get there. Set up in my booster seat here.
Oh yeah, Lenny, like it's running it phenomenally. Like I'm, I'm, I know you guys can't see it because my ISP, but I'm actually running this in 4K and it looks phenomenal. <laughs> it won't take three hours. We're just gonna follow the river. Actually, I think I see that bridge. Hey, AJ. Yeah, 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 on the overspeed. I see something anyway. Yeah, I wish I could tell what my actual frames were. Okay, I see, I see something sticking up. I don't know if it's the arch. Actually, how much fuel do I have? It's not the arch, is it? It's more like a, like a factory. Sad factory. Uh, Boca, if you can, I have no idea how to. Okay, there's St. Louis on the horizon. Oh, AJ, like, Toby's actually been really good in this. Um, really, really natural. Okay, I do see I do see the main city though. I see St. Louis. There's a bridge, but St. Louis, the city, is further up. Yeah, Jimbo, I'm actually using it right now. You guys think I can get under that bridge? That's a real bridge. Hey, look, there's boats. How about that? <laughs> there it is. I see the arch. I see the arch. Oh, power, yeah, we're not, uh, listen, the rule book is not enforced on this flight. Yeah, it's not like those fake bridges in Little Rock. I need to bring the biplane out here and do loops through the arch. Oh, of course, Lonix, you think we flew all the way out here to not fly under the arch? Especially after flying under that bridge? Go check out this barge. Yeah, yeah, they're more they're more guidelines, you know? Well, I really wish it stopped bothering me about my landing gear. Oh, that barge has seen better times. Oh man, the baseball stadium field. Not not in this thing. Um, I could probably do it with the Cessna. Or like the little cub. I've actually stopped at the station, I believe. Yeah, see that's a fake bridge. I can't fly into that. Look at that, they actually have the uh the rail yard. Oh that's pretty. It's pretty right there. Jones. We've flown through the arch. We'll do it again. 
I think the landing gear is is up. I think it wants me to put it down because it thinks I'm trying to land. St. Louis looks nice from up here. Oh, thank you, Boca. Is that the baseball stadium? Yeah, I would need a... I would probably need the Piper Cub to do that. What if this thing can do a loop-de-loop? -loop? We're gonna find out. Give me that overspeed. Oh, what? Ah, uh, I overstressed the aircraft. Darn. Darn. Alright, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna grab the, uh... What's the name of that airport? What's the one close to... St. Louis? Oh, Mobina, did he get in trouble? Nope, that's not it. That's... That's in Africa. No, I guess I could probably just, you know... Ah, yeah. I can just do this. Okay. Yeah. I need to take off from KCPS. Yeah, Ducky, have a good one, man. Nice, Mabita. <laughs> yeah, Coyote, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's let's loop de loop. They do power. It's uh, it's more like a, a deca copter or dodeca copter, but they do. flown this thing, so... Oh, it's, uh... Oh, it's... It's very... Eesh, okay. Yeah, it's very angular. What is it, like, carbon fiber on the dash? Does this... Even have flaps? No? Okay. That's it. Can I can I sit up? There we go. I need a bit of a booster seat in this thing. I feel like I'm flying a Drake ship. Oh, it's got a roll. Man, that thing's got a roll. I bet I could land on that building. You guys think I can land on that building? He doesn't like me looking up too much, but eh, I'm okay with that. I've actually got my Toby set really far back. Oh, we can land on that building for sure. Hold on, hold on. Although, maybe not with this thing, since it doesn't really have any flaps. We're gonna have to use a stall. Come to a stop very quickly. No! 
dang it! I was having to fishtail to try to slow down. Dang it. Oh yeah, Boga, I need to practice a loop. Tell you what, I'll practice a loop from taking off. How about that? Downtown Tower Extra Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway tree zero left, departing straight out. Alright. Here we go. Oh, why did I do that? I mean, Lodix, I'd probably go, I don't know, ask them questions, like, why? Downtown Tower, Extra Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray, Golf, Sierra, at runway tree zero, left, ready for departure, departing straight out. All right, let's do this. Let's get serious. We're going to do it this time. AJ, maybe. It is good money. That's it, Lodix. Like, who is this lost airplane? Uh, negative, Lodix. I thought about picking it up. I hear Toby works with it? Hey! Hey, look at that! Oh, I can't. I can't follow that guy. He is way too fast. He is he is out of there. Do you guys see that? Oh, Coyote, are they putting out uh, some third party stuff? Turbo prop on a bush plane, that's that's something. So we can sneak below these oh no, those bridges aren't real lame. Lame, come on, Microsoft. Fake bridges. Here we go. Extra X ray golf nope. here leaving my airspace nope. frequency change. We need to uh, get a bit more speed. Actually, I, I need to start from the top, is what I need to do. Yeah, I think I can land on that baseball stadium, but we're going to loop the arch first. Arch, there you are. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. I'll acknowledge you later. It's a weird loop. It's a weird loop. <laughs> what am I acknowledging? Downtown Tower Extra Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra frequency change. All right, where's this baseball stadium at? And I thought about picking up X4, like... It seems like a massive game. Well, I need to get some altitude so I can see where this baseball stadium... Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like, I could probably do it with, like, a cub? Or like one of the little biplanes. 
But that is that is not a lot of uh, stoppy stop room, you know. No, no, whoa, that that actually worked. Okay. Uh, I think it's for seeing your position, like when doing loops, you can actually tell how, like what your, what do you call it, angle of attack? I have not got to fly in DCS, and Timble, I have no idea how I pulled that off, it'll never happen again. Let me get a low flight in, just to observe where I need to come in from. Uh, probably right there. Yeah, that's not going to give me any space at all. Yeah, I'm going to have to approach at stall speed, basically. But still, though, like, this thing, this thing has no flaps, so as far as, like, a short landing goes. That's going to be really hard. I'm basically going to have to hit the brakes and fishtail it. And I don't exactly have like a low approach angle either. Exactly, Pyrite. Like, I could do this in my hometown, at my football field. Hold on, hold on. Let's grab a different plane. Downtown tower I think I can do it in something that's not the extra. Because the extra is a stunt plane, but it's not exactly built for short takeoff and landing. However... One of these little cub crafters probably would be. I'm thinking this little guy. This little guy right here. What do you guys think? I mean, I know that thing. How about the savage? Uh, the pits. You know, I can barely take off with the pits. F-18 will overshoot. I'm thinking the Cub. I'm thinking the Cub's the way to go. Let's go Cub. Oh, Chico. I know that, I know that feeling. No, not... Custom departure? What? Oh, Kai, like the AC5 or whatever? Oh, James, I'm probably gonna blow up. Oh yeah, yeah, we got this, for sure, yeah. Just sit up a little bit in my booster seat here. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, I'll take a look at it, Coyote.
Yes, yeah, Saron? Dude, I, I, I don't know what it is, but I can barely get the, uh, the pits off the ground, man. Something about it just makes it so difficult for takeoff for me. Uh-uh, it's gonna be a full stop. Oh, you mean a touch and go at the, uh... No, nah, no, nah, we're just, we're gonna eyeball it. We're gonna eyeball it. We got this. It'll be alright. Yeah, we got this. This will this will be fine. This will be fine. Oh yeah, Chico, you should. Like, I'm just using a, a dusty old T1600 for my flight stick that I originally bought for Pulsar. Fly to the arch, hang a left. Oh, right, Lonix. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah. Have you guys played any more? Have you enjoyed it? This is where a third person would probably come in handy. I like these, uh, these frumpy buildings. Budweiser sign, nice. Whew, that was that was a little a little closer. Not gonna lie. <laughs> no, how are we gonna get out of here? Let's just let's just drive around, and check out the place. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, power. That's gonna be the the fun part. I'm thinking we'll do a long circle. Build up just a little bit of speed and then floor it. Yeah, Liddy, that's going to be the hard part. Oh, wait, no. That's my exit right there. Alright, so that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to circle around. Nah, do you think this lawn is bad? You see the one in, uh, in Dallas. Going for home. He's out of there. All right, let's do it. Crap, where's that exit? That was my exit. 
Oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. No. I should not have turned. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Ah, oh, I can do it. I just messed up, but I I can do it. Ah. All right, where else do you guys want to go? Where else do you want to go in the world? Yeah, Chico, I, I bought the farm on that one. Yeah, AJ, my problem was I tried to turn, and I should not have turned. Now I'm out Rushmore. Good idea. <laughs> you know, Russell, you, you missed it. We actually, uh... I flew the F-18 to CIG's offices and taxied around it. Goya, Japan, huh? You guys want to go to Japan? You know, I was trying to find an airport. What's, uh, could, does anybody know an airport close by to the Grand Canyon? Tenzing Hillary Airport. Is that the, is that the Grand Canyon one? Let's go check out the Grand Canyon. Why not? The shit building. <laughs> Ooh, this looks bumpy. Can we land here? I guess these are supposed to be trains, but you know. Flagstaff and go south. Uh, how far south from Flagstaff? Oh yeah, we did want to go through China, didn't we? All right, all right. Uh, Coyote, where where is it? Hey, heck. All right, you said flag stuff and fly south. How how south are we talking here? Like, do I need to grab the F-18? Or should I take off from Sedona? Wrong state? Sedona, Arizona? See, there's Vegas. There's Albuquerque. Ah, uh, nice coyote. Wait, maybe there's just one at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, see, there we go. Grand Canyon Airport. Grand Canyon. And... 
let's take a fast mover. There it is. Let's go see this giant hole in the ground. You know, I, I went here as a kid. I don't feel like I appreciated it enough. Ah, it's alright, Temple. We'll, uh... We'll make it. We will make it. I hope. Before we hit that little bush there, anyway. I guess I could get out of the way or pull up. That's not a bad idea. Hey, that looks pretty Grand Canyon-y over there. And sadly, there is not Lionel. I mean, there are, but it's, um, like, third party. Like, you have to buy them. Man, I forget how big the Grand Canyon is. Uh, you know, I have no idea what that is. Ah, canopy jet. I think that... I can't click it. But I think it's to, like, bust the canopy open so I can eject. Yeah, I can't... I can't eject. Hey, bub! Yeah, see, everyone's been telling me to try out DCS, and, you know, there's no combat in this, because it's flight sim. But it is pretty. Like, I wish I could show you what it looks like in 4K. I'd have to actually just record video. Let's get, uh, let's get closer, shall we? Now, of course, once we get closer, it's probably not going to look as good, because, you know, Maybe we can recreate that scene from uh, Independence Day. Yeah, Lenny, for sure. I can hear my processor fan a whirring. Yeah, power. I mean, they got they do have the whole world in here, so I guess I can cut them a little bit of slack. That's it, Temple. Welcome to Earth. down here? I'm sure there is. Actually, I should make sure that I can... I have enough area to fly once I get down here. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine. Bob, I get sometimes shot at too. Sometimes, sometimes it's just a 30k. All right, let's get some altitude and look at how big this thing actually is. It 
That's it, Coyote. They got the whole world in the sand. They got the whole world in the sand. Yeah, that does look pretty nice from way up here. I wonder if I could get this thing into a flat spin. What, you mean Star Citizen's terrible missile system? Uh, but being, I have no idea what was wrong with it. Uh, max speed of the 400 i is like 1250 meters per second. Like, it's, it's fast. There's a few things that'll catch up with it. Imagine, like, the first people that found the Grand Canyon. Just like, my goodness, why is this so... canyony? Just why is it so big? I feel like, like, you get to this edge, and you just, you look over at how big this thing is. Like, can you imagine how annoying that would be, like, just trying to cross that? Mabina. Uh, I, I don't know. How long ago was that? Oh yeah, AJ, like there's a few fighters that are gonna be faster. Buccaneer, Hawk. Oh god, Boca. Um Jeez. Uh Is there an autopilot? Oh shit, what have I done? Um, sensors. No? You? Yes? Well, apparently they've taken out a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff. X X X X display. Go on. What? Okay. Why? Why even have these labeled if they're not going to be implemented? Uh. How do you... Oh, whoops, hold on. Wait, hold on, does that actually, does that show? Hey, it does, look, we gotta take a look. Okay, so we, we push that back in. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this thing has a, uh... Oh. Can I, can I call somebody? Arrow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this thing works. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not... I'm not a military. Jody, I don't know if I know the tailhook scandal. You'll have to tell me more. Is that, is that more Grand Canyon? Ow, that thing goes forever.
Uh oh. Surround, I feel like I got it for sale somewhere, you know, less than, than scrupulous. Apparently it doesn't have all of its uh, all of its stuff. Alright, so we've got off in British? Oh, brightness. Sorry, it's not. Ah, okay, okay. You see, Lonix, I wanna I wanna buy that. I really wanna buy that. I want you to tell me that that's true. All right, we've checked out the Grand Canyon. Where are we going to now? And yeah, Power, that is true. I'm not exactly going to be, uh, you know, taking things out in Flight Simulator. Oh, the Canyon West, huh? Oh, okay, I didn't know about that. Hey, look, an airplane. Let's go chase it. You guys think we can catch up to it? Well, we're pretty much right behind it. We have full power to engines. I'm losing speed though. I did kind of prefer the P47 in, in Stermovic over the P51. Oh, Russell, I wish. I'm oh, sorry, Power, I wish. Uh, it's serial, it's a little blinky light. You guys might not be able to see it. Uh, but I've got it dead center in my HUD. It's got, uh, I can see its lights on. We're pretty much right behind it. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to it. But by golly, we're going to try. Whoops. Sorry, I just pulled the trigger on my flight stick. I wish I knew what that number over the right meant. The one that's slowly or quickly going up. Like a, a negative. And now it's going down. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but I've pretty much got my, uh, my targeting reticle over it. Oh yeah, we are getting closer. We're boogieing, but we're boogieing faster. Oh, is that what that is? Vertical speed? Okay. Thank you, Saron. That makes sense. That makes sense. And 
All right, we're coming up on it. There it is. How about that? Oh, he's pulling away. I don't think he likes us being here. Oh yeah, of course, Lodix. I can, you know, keep pace with him. That's it. It's an escort mission. That's what we're doing. We're escorting. Oh, I don't see him now. Hey, McDuckett. Oh, it's all right, man. Where'd he go? He's not on my radar. Yeah, Temple, have a good one. That's it, Boca. We're, we're escorting. He should be ahead of me now. I've lost him. How, how, how am I gonna lose my escort? I just got here. Hold on, maybe... Maybe he's on the VFR map. He's not on the VFR map. So, where is he? What is this, like an X-Files? Oh, Dead Eye, I thought we killed enough speed that, you know... I don't see him. Wait. There he is. I see him. He did get ahead of us. Wow. Yeah, he got really far ahead of us. Does he have like a, a boost or like an afterburner? Russell, I would believe that. I would believe that. Yeah, no, there he is. I just let him get super far ahead of us. Yeah. I'm annoyed that I've got all the, the buttons, but I can't use them. Hey, deplorable. Yeah, power. He's he's probably doing, I think, uh, 300. If I remember correctly. Ah, Mavina. I gotta get a speed right first so I don't overshoot him this time. Really? I'm starving? To the moon. 
we are directly behind him. Can he just adjust course? Yeah, flaps are up. I'm not sure what's uh, what's going on, Power. Hey, that's that's new. Looks like he's uh, he's having uh, engine trouble. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, power. We're at full throttle. They added it for the uh, Game of the Year edition, I think. The F-18 and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, like that's as far as it'll let me go. I can't, uh, I can't go any higher than 80 for some reason. <laughs> other engine? What? I got, I got another engine. We are catching up. Just wanting to start uh, easing off just a hair. That's it, Coyote. Uh, maybe that's why we're going so slow. Yeah, like, well, let me go over, over 80 for some reason. Wait a second. Is this even the same plane? The one we were looking at was orange. I'm getting turbulence sitting behind this guy. I do kind of wish I could light him up. Wow, he is speeding away. I'm annoyed that I keep having to hit this button for the afterburner. Hey, Isaac. Good afternoon. See, if I touch it, we're just going to fade to black. I mean, we can, we can do. No, oh, heck, you should. It's quite fun. Ah, yes, Lonix. Just do that. Or, uh, what was that movie? Executive Decision, I think? Where's my fuel at? I haven't even been watching my fuel. All right. 
right after burner time. How close can we get to this thing? Yo, oh, yeah, power. I remember that. That was that movie magic, you know? I feel like he's just telling us to stay away. Like, this is probably AI. saw that, right? He disappeared. Well, no wonder I can't see him until he gets very far in front of me. I don't think he was real. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so let's see. Lock our throttles together. Can I see where I can put those? Yeah, can they just stop at 80? There we go. Now I got two afterburners. That could be it, Lonix. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and just full contact, see what happens. the tailpipe. Yeah. He is not real. Not real. That is a shame. What a crying shame. <sighs> Darn. I just, you know, I hate to see if it was real, and uh, it turns out it's not. All right, so what is what is going on here with my throttle? Why is it stuck at E? Cereal, you know what I you know what I mean. Like I at least want it to be like, no, you hit someone, that's bad. Bad jet plane. Where am I? I have no idea where I am. I am lost. Is there let's see, what's We don't need fuel where we're going. Whoa. 
<laughs> oh, that's a rough ride. Hey, Alawa. Good evening. Good afternoon. I'm gonna go for uh, an emergency landing here. Oh, I've reduced some power. I just realized we're super high up. You know that afterburner just, you know, eats your fuel? Alright, what is that? Is that a road? Can we land on that? How do I tell the lady? While I appreciate her, I, I am aware of the concept of low fuel. Do. We're gonna try to glide in. <clears throat> uh, Ella, we were over the the Grand Canyon, and then we got distracted trying to chase down a plane. <coughs> now that my fuel is low, I'm going to make an emergency landing. On this uh, on this interstate. Bleed some speed here. Once we hit 200, I can deploy landing gear. You know, you'd think my flaps would slow me down just a little bit more than this. I guess we can go ahead and hit that landing gear. Just give me a bit more drag. Alright, time to land. Think the vehicles aren't real. Yeah, power. I was noticing that. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! Flying cars. My goodness, we do live in the future. Alright, am I hitting my brake? There we go. Now I'm hitting my brake. Alright. Now how do I how do I turn this thing off? Oh, anti skid that's nice. Probe. Whatever, let's go back to the main menu. We did it. We, we successfully had an emergency landing. We didn't die. That's it, Coyote. Alright, so we've had some fun with Flight Simulator. Oh, Lonix, I thought about it. That actually happened to me over the Gulf of Mexico. I was trying to fly from Little Rock down to Peru, and I did not refuel correctly. That's it, Alouette. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an opposite day, you know? Oh, yeah, the Great Lakes. Never been up here. I should try that out.
I think I'll save that for a different time, though. All right, so. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we might wrap it up there. Oh yeah, we could do we could do a challenge. Why not? Why not? Give me give me a challenge. Let's see. What are those under the activities? Landing challenges. Okay. Strong wind. Oh, heck, that sounds fun. What do you guys think? Funchal Portugal? Oh, I've never flown one of these big chonkers. Let's try it out. Really, Coyote? Why? Is that is there a joke there, or...? Alright, so the wind's coming at me. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we're doing 160. Uh, where is the, uh... Where is this... Landing? Happening? I assume it's that. Oh, oh boy. Landing gear down? It is not. One thousand. Where is this, um? Oh, it's over there. Oh, that's much further than I thought it was. Is it, Alwa? By golly, we're gonna do it. We might not do it well, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so I think the wind should be blowing... No, I can't even tell. Yeah! Power, no kidding. All right, we got this. It might not be smooth, but we got this. Yeah, glide paths and I don't really um <clears throat> jive. I need I need a booster seat to this thing. Five hundred. What is, uh, what is ILS mode? I've heard that before. Oh, good. 300. Ah, instrument landing. Yeah, because, like, I basically have to look over the... I think I'd have trees right now. Oh, no. Whoops. Goodbye, Cruel World. I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. That was not, uh, that was not kosher. Yeah, Russell, it likes to do that a lot. I need to figure out, like, a different screen. 
Wait, hold on. What do you mean it's referenced by Microsoft? What? Okay, okay. Round two. What am I, what am I even in? What is this? This feels big. This isn't, this isn't my daddy's cub, that's for sure. This isn't the Cessna that I'm used to. Okay, I'll have to click it later, because, um, you know, apparently in the cockpit. Yeah, Cody, I really do. I really do. <laughs> I can't fly without that little thing. Okay, well, I got a C. Oh, Coyote, I, I wish. Let's see. All right, what did I... They didn't like my ground roll. That's a lot more landing precision than I thought I was going to get. Let's try, let's try the smaller plane. Try this Nan Wallach. Wait, power, you can reverse thrust? How do you reverse thrust? I didn't know you could reverse thrust. All right, now this is more like it. This is this is my style right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But they want us to come in reverse, like down down the mountainside. All right. Ah, see, I didn't know that was a thing. Is that is that a thing in these these? Prop planes?
Am I supposed to stop there or touch down there? I could have done better there. I think I'm supposed to actually land on that thing. Let's try that again. One more try. One more try. See if I can just line up on that hill. Yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. And then crab it. Ooh, that wind. If I could use that to my advantage. If I could land into the wind. Yeah, I was super off center because I came in on an angle on that runway. Yeah, I'm coming in too harsh. I just did the same thing. <laughs> nope. Well, yeah, power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta stick that landing. It's just the wind is coming from that way, you know? That's that's my prop. I wonder. Five hundred. Oh, how I wonder. Yeah, I can feel the wind pushing us back. Honestly, I kind of want to just, like, stall and crab it from the side, but... I know that doesn't, you know, work. end up with the same approach. Oh, I overshot. I overshot. Okay, I just need to go around and try again. Oh, I got my flaps down. Another C. Is that better than my last one? I don't think so. Should I just fly, like, up the mountain and come down on it straight? Is that... Is that what I should be doing here? Hold on, I think... Let me check out something right quick on my stick. That's what it is. Okay. I have parking brakes set to, instead of, like, actual brakes. Yeah, 
eight. And then set parking, uh, toggle parking brake. We'll just make, we'll just make that button. That's it. Hey, BH, what's luck, bud? Hey, no worries, man. I understand. You got work, you got work. I'm actually going to wrap it up after this one. Win or lose, we're going to wrap it up. So I'm thinking we approach from up the mountain. And then come down and just and just flare up. Just flare up. Oh BH, I appreciate that, man. And Coyote, you're probably right, man. We're probably right here. That's gonna give us the same approach. Ah, we overshot. Hey, we got a B that time. What? Okay. Okay. You know, that's... That's, uh... That's better. That's better. I mean, I could, I could go around again, but... Huh. Maybe, maybe that's I'm supposed to touch down instead of where I'm supposed to stop? What do you guys think? What else do we... Oh, what do I just hit? What are these with this treachery, uh, treacherous terrain? They're all turbo props and jets. All right, yeah, no, I think I think we are gonna we are gonna wrap it up there. I might try some later. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah, alright, so. We're gonna go back to Star Citizen tomorrow, I do believe. But that was super fun to do today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, we are going to... to catch up with all Star Citizen tomorrow. When all the wonderful... Xenothreat stuff is going on. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your afternoon. Drink plenty of water for me. Of course, Lodix, I should have done more of those in the beginning. Congratulations. Oh, Coyote. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, Coyote. I mean, like, listen, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to make it. I didn't think I was going to make it, man. Man, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to go get an icy now. I get, uh, I get to go make my pun again about it being a little icy. But yeah, you guys take care and have fun. I appreciate you guys turning out. I know it's not as flashy as watching Star Citizen, so. Thank you so much, guys. And I will, I will catch you around later. And as always, until next time, keep on trucking. Have a good night, guys.